We are here <laughs> at our first Average Bikers in a Cave unboxing. Wait, Proper hey. unboxing. You, Darren, as you probably know if you've watched the YouTube channel, has done a wee bit of a... Cheap, cheap, cheap man, uh, 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 an unboxing if he bought it for Wish. Aye, up and box, yeah, so we've seen it. But this is probably quite exciting. We've talked about these helmets a fair bit, and this is the Atlas 4.0. Atlas from the British company, Rurok, um, which is quite exciting. Um, but, as you know from probably listening to some of the podcasts, um, I am a bit of a Batman fan. So when Rurok announced the nice Batman helmet, because they had brought one out, they had the Rurok, the Atlas 3, wasn't it? Uh, yes. Yeah, I am, um, but it was a bit. It was, it was a bit um, bland, I would say, is probably the best thing to say. Um, but we have here our unboxing of my Atlas Rurock Four, which will be embarrassing if you open it and it's the Riddler. It would be, but it's uh, it does say Batman on on the um, the box. So here we go. Um, first but thing I noticed, just just for point yeah. of reference, not only do they do Batman, uh -huh. they also do they do the Riddler, Riddler. they do Superman. They do Harley Quinn and they do Wonder Woman. Yes. So um, uh, all all the um, all the genres of superheroes. All the genres. All the genres. All the yeah. genres. Uh, for, for for all the fans, right of DC. So they've obviously got to deal with DC now. So yes, which is quite cool. Which is um, good. So here we go. So this is going to be the Real Rock Atlas Four Point Zero, um, Batman edition, uh, limited edition. It's actually pretty much sold out in anything but the kind of tiny wee head sizes. Now, so, um, uh, so that's me snookered. That's it, yeah, snookered. So, um, so here we go. Rural Atlas 4.0. First thing I thought, I noticed, and you've probably thought yourself, is when, when I lifted the box up, and a few people that have reviewed the just the, the standard Atlas, is how light it is. Light it actually is. You know, I kind of mean, it is, and is I'm it, assuming it's a box inside a box, yeah. It's is it, it a your box inside, inside a box. box. Not only that, there's a shockwave in there as well. So, Ooh. so I'll do the shockwave as well, so. which is their comms, which is their comms unit, yeah. So, here we go. So, here we go. I arrived, um. A wee bit later than expected, but uh, but it did get here, so Yay. that was all good. So we should open it open up. It, open it, open it, open it. Open it. <laughs> uh, we'll do some fancy camera work with this, but speed it up. Ooh. I would slow it down just to build the intensity. Yeah, there you go. Here we go. So, oh, nicely done. So there you go. First wee bit we've got is the actual shockwave system itself. Oh, is that so, the shockwave that's in the top? Yep, so the shockwave's nice. in the top. So you're going to have to fit it yourself. Yes. It's not already fitted. It's not pre-fitted to the thing. So that's the shockwave system. All right. Pop that to the side because we're not reviewing that just now. Uh, and then there's a wee advert for the jackets. Um, oh, engine, engine hawk. hawk. Engine Hawk. The jackets so are lovely. But here we go, look. <gasps> that's, the, that's, that's the thing you want to see when you open it, is the... Is the, is the is, Batman sign, isn't it? Absolutely. I'm, and no offence to Rurok, I don't see their logo because it's on the outside box. Aye. But the minute you open it up, you go... <gasps> yeah. yeah. So we'll put up some visuals of the, of the box. Yes. Because um, here we go. So this will be fun to try and take out uh, gently uh, in a thingy video, a boxing video. This is going to be a bit kind of rogy to get out, I think. You're going to manage it one-handed. Oh, look at that. Total pro. And Dan will kick it away. So here we have it. We've got the... For added AMR added and Dolby AMR. Atmos yeah. surround it's sound. It's the Batman Shh. logo. It's very cool. Um, on the side of the box, just pop it there. As you can see. Oh, that's we've got, nice. We've got a nice Batman logo oh, there as well. Oh, that is nice. Yep, and they've got that on the other side. And then we've got in the back of the box, we've got a Gotham skyline. That's very which nice. Which is very nice. And then at the front of the box, here. So you cannot fault, it's packaged beautifully. Oh, yeah, it's, it's absolutely. Uh, the graphic's great. stunning. The graphic's stunning on it. So far, so good. So that is the, the, the box for you. We'll just do that. But it's, uh, but that's that's all very good. But you can't wear the box in your head. Well, you could, but uh, I'm not sure the protection. No, I don't, think, it, I don't think it's dot qualified. Here we go, so. There we go, so that's a nice look. There we go, designed and engineered in the United Kingdom. Atlas 4.0, lovely. That's a nice wee touch, just having Atlas 4.0 on the... Ah, it's nice, isn't it? On the flaps. There we go, and it is your flaps all, with all your details, you know. It's, it's always giving you your details and your flaps, right? So, what have we got in the box now? So, obviously, it comes, it's coming with its own helmet bag, but we also have... Oh, A spare visor. visor. With its own wee visor bag, which is a nice touch. Is that a smoke? Nice. Is that a smoked visor? So that's a smoked visor, I think. Look at that. There we go. It's in dark. Uh, they're very keen to tell you, I think, that it's um, uh, daylight only. So just have a look at even that. that's aye. Uh, 
Tinted for daylight only. Yep, I have tinted for daylight only. Oh, that's, and that actually that's works nice. for your Atlas 3 and 4. So, the, so if anybody's got an Atlas 3 and they're getting to Atlas 4 and they've got a couple of different visors. Oh, they're interchangeable. Yep, they're interchangeable. Oh, that's good. All right, so that's quite cool. There we go. So that's your Atlas. That's your smoked. And I can guarantee that I'll have that one probably riding about because it'll look much better dark. Mm. The other Batman helmet I've got looks much better dark, so it's... Yeah, that was the HGC, one HGC, of the first ones. HGC, Rafa, yeah, the first one. Which actually, I still, we were just talking about that before we went on air, was, it's still a beautiful helmet in terms of the details, but it's mm. the details of the, the bat suit from the Justice League film, which Aye. unfortunately didn't get the rave reviews that, no. that people were hoping for. Right, here we go. So we've got the helmet now. Uh, nice black Rurok sign. There we go. Lovely. That's nice. There we go. And I'll just put this to the side and anything else in the box that we've got. So there's the Engine Hawk logo. You can see that, the Engine Hawk logo. And then we've got this here, which looks like a couple of ear things. So that's probably if you're not if you're not putting in the, the comms unit, that'll... Aye, for in, blanking the moot or padding it up. Yeah, yep. we'll, we'll be putting the comms unit in eventually. So there we go. So we'll just smoke, spoof this all to here. There we go. Excellent. Nice. First impressions then, Darren, from opening the box, what do you think? It's beautifully packaged. I'll yep. give them the truth. It's really well packaged. <clears throat> and again, the, the graphic on the box is tremendous. But even down to the, the visor. Aye. The visor's just nicely... It's, got, it's a nice wee bag... But the the cut the actual visor's got a really nice looks like a thick protector yeah. kind it's, of thick protection. And I think one it. of the things about the Atlas visors is they're big. You've got I think a lot of people have said that the vision you get out of a Rurok helmet, the Atlas Three, the Atlas yeah. Four is is incredible because and, you get such a big space for your eyes. And don't get me wrong, we both had Rafa Ovens. Yep. And the vision is by no means constricting. Yeah, it's not absolutely. a Formula One helmet. No, no. You know what I mean? It's not a letterbox, yeah. but it's not until you do go to. A, a helmet that's got a much larger kind of aperture Aye. that you realise just how much extra peripheral vision you get. It's yes. quite frightening. Yeah. So, um, there we go. So, shall we? Yay. Yeah, yeah, so I feel like we should do a drum roll. Let's get out of the bag. We could maybe do that. So Add the drum roll in later. Add the drum rolls. There we go. So, there we go. It is um, DOT certified. So, that's the new standard for helmets. Dot is certified. that EC... ECR 2206. 2206, that's a new one, yep. So there we go. So look at this, right? We'll just pop this down here. Now, first impressions for me, I think I've gone, I've gone a bit off centre, but that's fine. First impression is, it's a shinier than I thought it was going to be. You know, the, 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 the finish Did you think it was going to be matte? I, I, I didn't think it was going to be as shiny, if that makes sense. See, what do you think? I'll be honest, right? Uh -huh. I actually like it shiny. No, no. I, I think I'll, the detail stands yeah. out. Mm -hmm. Whereas sometimes, let's see the Atlas Three they did in the Batman. Yeah, it looked very, very matte, mm -hmm. and the detail was just kind of lost. I, and that's, I, what I think this, that's what made us. That's what made it a bit. It made it the, the Rafa one I've got is matte, but there's yes. a lot of uh, a lot of graphics on it, so that makes yes. it, that makes it a more interesting thing to look at. But, but I, this is nice. I do like the yeah. shiny. You know, you, it's so shiny you won't see the light. We're using the light up. So yes. From it. So here we go. So it's got some lovely details on it. The kind of gunmetal silver. It looks like it's been dropped and scratched, but that's actually part of the detail. So don't panic. Oh, you it's know? that. It's that used that helmet kind look. Of used helmet look. So, and <laughs> um, what I really like is from the from the front of it. So if you can see it from there, is the actual ears, the back ears from the mask. Yes. Which is really cool and really smart. Um, and of course, it's quite a, it's quite a, it's quite an aggressive. Is that a good word for using it? Kind of look to it with that chin and. Aye, it's, it's almost like a mouthpiece. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's almost Bane esque. Yeah, aye, exactly. But it's not Bane, it's Batman. So it's Bane, it's, it's Batman. A good day. It's, still, aye, it's still DC. We but now we'll turn it to its side <laughs> there as well. So there we go. So we've got a nice cover between like the bat um, detail there of the mask and then quotes, because Polly is kind of signifying like the cape yep. flowing in the background. And it's going into the red of the kind of the kind of branding of the movie. Yes. The movie was all kind of black and red, wasn't it? Yep. Which I love the movie, to be fair, but there we go. Um, I think it's a bit better. Then at the back, then it's got a nice touch at the back, and of course the rudox has got this lovely kind of shape to the back of it, which is a bit aerodynamic and just lets it you know, gives it a nice flow to it. Aye, and I like the fact that the reds for all, the the little individual wee bats. Yeah, uh -huh. do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah. very 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 clever. Yeah, cool. And then again the same on the other side there, back there to the to the side of it again, which is really cool. The actual yeah. top bit at the back's beautiful. That bit. That bit there. Yeah, that that's, that's absolutely stunning. It's just a, a really nice. A really nice bit of um, a kind of graphic and detailing on it. You're absolutely right. Aye. And then if you look at it from underneath, they've really improved on the 
that's thick pad. The thick pad and the that padding is, is thick super padding. thin. That's but but it's but it's quite squidgy. So you know, it, I so it's, it's, it's going to be comfy at that, then. To myself, am I going to get my head into that wee hole? Do you know what I mean? You know, it's not the first time I thought that. And, <laughs> you know, and uh, so, um, but it's it's super squidgy. So we'll, we'll be trying it on in a wee second, and then because I've got the the shockwave system that goes into this bit of the helmet there, so it's all. Into this bit and then yeah, it's all then fully integrated. Through, so, and um, the speakers are already in it. Or do you uh, need to fit those? I think they need to be fitted, actually. Aye. I think they're all part of the shockwave system. But it must but just be just a clip a look at that It must have been easy clipping. So just look at that. So the shockwave system is here. What I will say, though, it's a, it's a really nice shape, that helmet. I know, I know that sounds weird because, you know I mean, all helmets tend to be round. So the, but the it's just, here. they put the little... Nice. The little kind of diff no diffuser, but kind of real spoiler thing. Aye. That wee bit further back, so that you don't notice as much with the front, but it still has a purpose. Yep. So this is what you get in the shockwave system as well. There you go. Yep. So there's your there's your headset there. Aye. And as then well. there's your little. And that's your bit, and then all your controls for your for your shockwave system are there at the back of your helmet. So turning it on and all that kind of stuff. Aye, so that's that'll cool. replace that wee bit there. So that'll scoot into there, and that then becomes the, the shopping system, it's, which is all... It's really neat, isn't it? It's really smart. Yeah, it's really cool. It saves you, I, I don't mean this in a bad way, but it saves you defacing the helmet by yeah. sticking, sticking things an aftermarket nothing. comms unit yeah, on you it. Go. You've got a couple of ear, ear pieces there, and you've got your... You know, I mean, it looks pretty easy to fit. That's your wee mic there, probably. It looks pretty easy to fit in it all. So we'll, we'll maybe talk about that in the next, the next podcast, Yep. because it'll be fitted by then, you know? Um, so if we're swearing at the next podcast, then it means that it was not easy to fit. <laughs> oh, that goes in there, doesn't it? There we go. So that's the shockwave system. So very nice, very nice indeed. Lovely uh, job, mate. There we go. So that's the helmet. Um, so uh, I think it, very pleased with the finish on it, the look on it. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. And we'll do some, we'll do some visuals of this while we're talking about it. You know, but that's it, and then, and then it's, it's ready for a pin lock. I didn't actually get a pin lock for it. I don't know why I didn't order a pin lock, but it's ready for a pin lock. I thought, that's I a know. really thick um, visor as well. That's really, really strong. Yeah, you would have thought that it would have came with yeah. pin lock. There we go. So that is um, the unboxing of the, of the Atlas 4.0 Batman edition. There we go. Not bad at all. I'm going to, we're going to do some uh, side-on stuff of it. On, yes. try it on, see how it feels, see how it well, does. Well, we'll not try it on, yeah. you'll try, I'll try it on. Because yeah. there's That's no right. way my big keen's getting in there. So we're just, just christening it now by pulling off the sticker. <gasps> we're ready. Here we go. For people that like this kind of thing, it's quite... It's, it's this, quite is, this is this feels like it should be an ASMR moment. Or... Look at that. And it comes off beautifully. And look at that. It didn't even make a sound, actually. That would have been really disappointing. Just... Yeah, I was going to hope for a... <laughs> 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 well, I had a sound in post. So that does give you a sense, actually, of the of the size of your the vision that you've mm. got. That right, is quite big, isn't it? It's a big, 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 big set of... Um, big hole. It's a big hole to stick your head through. You know, so... Well, it being reborn again. Absolutely. So the, the Rural Atlas 4.0, um, first impressions, let us know what you think, folks, in the comments below, if you can, that'd be really good. Aye, very um, nice. We'll talk about it a bit once I've had it out for a ride. Um, one of the great things is that my Harley Davidson is nearly ready, Whee! so hopefully get it this weekend. So maybe the time you're watching this and listening to this, I'll actually have had it out and on the Harley. So. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. I don't know that one. No, you no. don't know that one, of no. course you don't, for goodness sake. Who would know that one? Thanks, love. Especially not the AI in the corner that's becoming sentient, according to somebody. I know. So there we go. Everybody wants it on a podcast. And that's it. Even even the AIs. So the Atlas 4.0 Batman edition. What a lovely little piece of. Um... Show the. Um, that's got the, the. Now, obviously, for people that have D rings and for quick locks, that's got an unusual. Yeah, it's got an unusual wee lock. It's got an unusual kind of magnetic thing. thing. So I don't know how well we can see this. Which just now everybody, we'll everybody would probably know already because you've. You mean it's been on there since I think the very first yeah. Atlas. So it's dead easy to open because it's just a wee tag, but it's literally a magnetic clip that does that and just clips on there. And it's, it's super sturdy. And it's super sturdy because it, it holds it in place. But it's super sturdy, but also... I think one think, hand, think. which is ideal if you've got your gloves on. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Clicks in, comes out dead easy. Clicks in, comes out dead easy. 
There we go. How does it clip in? Clicks in. Clips it very easy. That's it. So. In, out. Shake it all about. That's you. There we go. <laughs> I'm quite impressed with the padding. I really yeah, am. The padding is amazing. Like, the padding is so different from the three. Although Aye. I did notice on the Atlas website you can now buy Atlas 3.0 new padding. Oh, can you so say just brought didn't out higher padding for that, which is really cool. There we go. Very nice. Yeah, fair nice. Very nice. Um, the, the taking it on and off, I think, is pretty just a quick twiddle. Just a quick twiddle. And it put off it pops. Yep. So let's uh, let's go on to trying it on then, shall we? Yes. Go for it. Cool. So um, we've done a wee top down shot of that one. Now we've got it here at the side. You can really see, uh, you know, the, the the shape and everything. So let's go for a for a try on, shall we? A try on. A try on. A try on. Try on. So um, here we go. Take my hat off. My Memphis Grizzlies off. Here we go. Right, glasses off because I know that the worst thing to do is just absolutely slam your head into your glasses into your nose. Right? Right. So oh. my biggest worry here was how tight it was going to be to get on. Do you know what I mean? Because Aye, but that pad is a—it's—it's. It's, it's, yeah. I don't want to say it's like memory foam, but it really does give quite a good bit. Oh, that slid on nice. It's tight. That's, <laughs> that's what she said. Yeah. That's how easy it is to get that grasp on. Yeah, Aye, it's, it's really good now. It's so it feels, much. It feels tight, but not in a bad way. No. You know, no, no. It doesn't feel like it's a kind of. Come um, safety way, so hopefully right. I'm picking up in this uh, microphone. You can check that down. So here we go. Glasses on. Yep, glasses sit nicely on it. So um, we touched turn the gain up, but we've got it. So this is here we go. The helmet is on. It does feel really good. Sits really nice at the back. You know. Gives a twirl. Yeah, get a twirl. So there we go. I'm Batman. He's nice vengeance. I am vengeance. <laughs> yep. Here we go from the back. Here you go. So it's nice. No, kind of shape. Does it look as big as we thought it was going to look? No, it does. It's, it's one of those ones. It, it's quite this here. It looks like it. See when you pick the helmet up, it looks massive. Yeah. In your hands, it looks. It yep. looks absolutely huge. But actually, when it's on, it's not. I don't know how that works. It feels. It feels as tight as my roof helmet feels. But my roof helmet didn't have the cushion cushioning in it. Do you know what I mean? Aye. So this feels. It's it's so solid. Is but it, it's not. Is it? And it's, it's also brand it's, new. Aye, so. It's not tight from a, as in it's compression tight as in it's, it would give you a sore head. No. It's, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. it, it's more snug. You know, and I know that they, they are supposed to be made, people say they're made a wee bit, a wee bit tight, but this, is, the, this feels... Aye, the padding will end up, the padding yeah. will give away a wee bit. And yeah, this I'm feels not. ideal to me, so. I mean, and that's a massive, you probably can't hear me now, but that's a massive <laughs> vision. You know, you can... You, that's a what massive you, vision. You, what you can see, where you can see everything is really big. No, so it's really impressive. I really like it. Yeah, absolutely. It's, I am vengeance. Yeah, so. Aye. Now the fun bit is taking are off. Are you going to do that every time you get on and off the bike? Yeah, yeah, pretty much, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because I do do that geek thing, you know what I mean? So. Although it is the one thing you and Robin Patterson have in common. What's that? Dropping a bike. Drop the bike, aye. aye. Here we go, so. Yeah, it's not too bad for coming off, to be fair. No, that, that looks like it slid on and off quite it was, easily. It was quite good, yeah. And it was, as I say, it feels it's tight in your head, but it's not... It's I, not uncomfortable I, It's not tight. uncomfortable uh, tight, yeah. The the roof I found, I, I, it was tight in my head, but I went, oh, it'll soften in, it'll soften in, and it never quite did. There's like a bit of the roof helmet that just, just pushes against me. Uh, so, I mean, but there we go. So, um, very pleased at the moment, but we'll... I'll put a few miles on it. We'll definitely have a look and see what... Yeah, get um, the comms in it. Get it, comms I'm in it, yep. to see how the comms Yeah, because I've, I've seen a few like different that. things about the comms. Are they or are they not easy to fit? You know what I mean? So ah, yeah. I think from that point of view... Looking at what you get in the box, it looks like that should be fairly straightforward to fit. Yeah, it's just how... Should and I think, be. I think the I think the padding can come out pretty pretty easily. Aye. Yeah, there you go. It just clips in and it out. It just clips so. in and out. Uh, and it'll be... I would imagine it'll be wired... Perfectly yes. for their comms, and then we can get we can test the chain app and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, because that's it. that's the one that I'm keen to check yeah. next, and then that way there's a kind of you know there's a lot coming up. Yeah, between you getting your bike back, that helmet, your new comms, the yep. chain app, mm -hmm. and then you mean top of that there's there's a whole load of footage mm -hmm. to go with it. So, so first impressions, nice. um, beautiful helmet, looks great, very nice, very nice, yep. Um, nice. Does exactly what it says in the tin in terms of 
um, if you're a Batman fan it, and, and you like that, that particular movie, it, it covers it all. Here's I mean? a question, yep. which again, people might be interested in. Your normal size of helmet, what are you? I'm normally a large. Right, so your HTC was yep. a large. My HTC is a large. Um, my roof is a large. Surely? I'm sure was a medium. Right, okay. Um, I'm sure was a medium. My car, car bear, was it? That the old aye, flip, aye, first aye. one I had was a yep. flip one. That was a large. So he's so I'm, I'm, nine I'm times out of ten, you're a large. Yeah. Um, I'm a fifty nine. That's my, my my height, my my heart measurement. And the la- and this is a ML. This is a medium large. Right, okay. So they do they do a medium, a medium large, a large. But you yeah. used the because they've obviously got a size measurement. Yes, they've got a size measurement. Um, I put my, my my head size in and I measured my head to make sure that it was doing it. And they recommend the medium large, and it was, I would say it's probably spot on. Yeah, I think. The, and this is supposed to be 58 to 60 centimetre size. Um, so, yeah, I'm I'm comfortable that that's the Good. right, Aye, right so that was That was more the point. It was yeah. the, how I does, wouldn't have taken the, the, the wibbly bits off if I wasn't sure. The wibbly bits? The wibbly bits, the wibbly yeah. Bits. So, Aye, yeah. That's good to know then that their, their, size, their size guide's pretty... Pretty spot on. Yeah, for me anyway, yeah, Aye. absolutely. And you don't have any no. problem. Glasses went in, no bother. Glasses went in, no problem at all. Yeah, Good. just slid right in nicely. Yeah, because there's enough give. There's enough give in, the, yes. in that padding that it's that it's tight enough to feel secure on, but there's enough give if you're pushing glasses or sunglasses or whatever Aye. Um, to see how it goes, yeah. So, there we go. Atlas Rurock 4.0, our first um, look honestly, impressions out of the box. I'm going to try and talk someone into buying the Harley Quinlan Aye. because if the colour... Because the colours on that are kind of red and black. And it'll match that particular individual's particular vehicle that's yes. particularly coming very soon. Yes. But if that's the red that's on it, yep. it'll look stunning. It will look, aye, if that is, yeah. So much so we need to show her before... Putting it all away. Yes. <laughs> there we go. So, the yes. Atlas Rurok 4.0, unboxing, having a wee look at the details, a wee bit of the fit, yeah. We'll get back to you in the podcast with how... Um, how good it was to ride with. How and comms works and all that kind of stuff. How the comms works and all that stuff. Excellent. Nice. Thank you very much um, for listening to this. And remember, I'm not a helmet expert. Uh, <laughs> Dad is not a helmet expert. No, no, don't think nope, about that, please. Nope. Please. This is a family show. But um, we are just two average bikers in a cave talking about helmets. If you like it, please subscribe. Give Click us a thumbs the comments. Up. Yeah. And and remember you can put your notifications on every time you put some new stuff up. Darren's learning Premier Pro now, so we should get lots more stuff coming up and uh and I'll get that. loads of video for footage. Loads of video it. footage. All right. So thank you very much for listening, folks. I uh, hope you enjoyed the wee talk through that the Atlas 4.0 and we will uh, get back to you soon with our next broadcast. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>